soon as the incident happened and we saw them, the man was walking. Um, he was clearly shaken up, um, as anyone would be if they went through that. But he, he was walking, he was conscious. Um, and when Bert arrived on the scene and, and checked him out, they determined that the injuries were not life-threatening. Um, the, the individual, like I said, was walking. He went to the police station, he gave his statement, and then he was thereafter taken to the KHMH. Will there be sorry, more oversight in terms of uh, when work is being done here? Well, we provide oversight to ensure that our daily operations and the safety of our, of our men and women here at the Air Wing and Special Boat Unit are, are never compromised. Um, there have been certain instances, and I must say the contractors were good about following the guidelines that we set, but ultimately once we set our guidelines where they, for example, can or can't smoke, um, can or can't wear a hat, we do have no hat zones here on the base, um, they follow our guidelines, but as far as when they are on their equipment, we can't um, put restrictions in place on what they need to wear when they are on their equipment. Um, and they were using a piece of equipment that does belong to them, and so we cannot determine what they need to use that has to come from the the boss of the contractors uh, our heart and sympathies go go out to the to the family of the gentleman that lost his life and um, i hope that we take uh, occupational safety more seriously moving forward uh, we do so here at the air wing and the special boat unit but we implore everyone else to do the same